housing for them. The legislative policy consulting service. You also. You, you hold on, you hold on, you hold on there one health service. Because I'm going to forget yep. them. So if we can, if I can go through them one at a time, that may makes it easier. Because you're going to list all, how many do you have? Just one more. Oh, one more. Okay. <laughs> According to the. Um, I guess you might have a bill sponsored universal health services. Basically, my question is you run for small government, okay? You run, uh, aren't we cynical, okay, about government leaders under this record here? Well, let's go through all of them. First, the first thing you said is I received contributions when I ran for the United States Senate. The most. Well, I think I had the most expensive Senate race in the country uh, in that year. And so it doesn't necessarily surprise me that when you're running in a big state and you're running a highly contested election and you receive a lot of money, I think we, we raised about $30 million in that race, well, and it wouldn't be surprising to me that, that, folks, that I probably raised the money from a lot of different groups. Um, that's because I raised, I had, a, I had a campaign that raised a lot of money. Uh, so the second one was... Earmarks. Yeah, earmarks. I, you know, I, I, I hear this all the time that when you go out, and I did, I advocated for money to come back into my state. And as, as Ron Paul did, as Jim DeMint did, as I, your senators here from New Hampshire have done, why? Well, because people here in New Hampshire pay money to Washington, D.C., and Washington, D.C. allocates resources back to the states. I got elected by the people of Pennsylvania. Now. Would I be doing my job if I went to, down there and said, no, give the money to everybody else, we don't want it. Okay? You took 65000 in that company that you advocated for. Well, no, I, I don't advocate for companies. <laughs> I, I, may have, I, may, I may have advocated for things that that company you know, may have represented interest in my states, but that's not why I do it. I, uh, that's not why you, you do it, because you go and you examine the, the request for funds, and you talk to the local communities, which I did. I got to every county in my state, all 67, every single yeah, year. Tell you to leave and so I would actually go through game. and try to find out what the priorities were of the people in my community with respect to the funds that were going to be allocated back to the state. I would be very transparent. We'd have the news media there. We'd talk publicly about these things. We'd try to get input because I think it was important for us to have a participatory process in making these selections. I would publish them, make them available to people if they wanted to see them. Uh, and so I, I like I, I talked at the last, I'm very proud of some of the things that I quote earmarked. Now, what happened is over time, there, be, there became more and more abusive earmarks. A, B, we saw an increase in spending in concert with more abusive earmarks. That's because you raised the earmarks tax being used time. to get people to vote for more spending. Uh, that wasn't the case with me. I always voted for less spending overall. And so when that began to happen, guys like Tim DeMint said, I'm not doing this anymore. And after the 2010 election, when it became clear the public wanted an end of earmarks, I said, if this is an article of faith with the American public, I'll join in and I'll end them. But the idea that a member of Congress or a senator trying to get resources from the federal government to back to their state and district is somehow an inherently corrupt. Uh, that's that. I just don't believe that. If you look at the Constitution, the point that is, you helped that company. Then you took funds after you left the Senate. Okay. Well, you, that company that you referred to, that I took funds from, I actually, in that particular case, I referred a client to them. I actually brought someone who, who wanted to help, and I brought them to the company for back. them to get paid by the company. And I got a fee for doing so. That's get not back. taking money from a company because I did them a favor. I, I mean, because they did me a favor, I did them a favor. And, and, and that's why they compensated me for it, because I brought business to their company. So, so that, that, that was the final thing. Well, the other company was another company that you, um, two Senate votes for, two Senate bills for the Universal Health Service. Okay. You later on, 395,000. bills for them? Yep, two Senate bills. What, 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 what were they about? The mammoth Medicare overhaul, extra spending. Benefit Universal Health Services. Whoa, 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 whoa. Medicare, Medicare overhaul. <laughs> that was a big bill that affected every health care provider in America. <laughs> so, so, so hold on. Of course I read the bill. I was one of the ones that helped them together. So look, the idea, what, what happened in this case is when I left the United States Senate, I know I know this is, I, you know, some people, it's, it's hard to understand, but I had to provide for my family. And when a, when a company in my state who uh, is a health care, uh, has, has uh, 
both behavioral as well as hospitals in this country, asked me to serve on their board of directors to help with corporate governance. I did so. I was compensated no differently than any other board member. Um, I served there until I decided to run for the presidency and I stepped out from the board. I got rid of all of my options. I don't have any. And, and I'm, I'm out here doing the things that are consistent. By the way, I believe in private sector health care companies. I believe in a private sector health care system. I wasn't doing things that were against the things I believe in. I was doing things that I think were, were consistent with my beliefs. And that's, the, you know, that's, that's really the important point here. Are you someone who stands up and does in private what you do in public? And I would make the argument, yeah, I do. And, and, and that doesn't mean that... Uh, that there's something inherently wrong or corrupt about it. In fact, it's consistent with my values and what I believe in. Let me, with that, I know we've got to get, I've got to get to a dinner. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, I'm sorry, I think I, I'd like to stay, I'd love to stay, watch out. Stay down. I'd love to stay, but I've got to, I've got to stay. Down, 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 down.